here we come to the elevators at the Oceanography and Meteorology Building at Texas A&M University in College Station, Texas, which is part of the Geosciences class, I think, because it says Geoscience, and I wonder, not to be confused with the Geoscience building with the 1984 door with the two-speed door. But anyways, look at that. I really love that Texas A&M logo above the elevator doors. Anyways, um, this one does not serve the down level. See, down does not work. Oh my gosh, look, look at that down button. That down button looks like it's really falling apart. We got this one right here. I haven't filmed this thing in a while. Oh, I'm so sorry. What floor do you need? Uh, seven. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. All right, you have a great day. You have a blessed one, thank you. You're welcome, bye. I actually like this modernization than the one in the lake for building A. And look at that, got your original Otis logo. All right, let's go down to one. The cab has obviously been redone at some point. I'm referring to these are for the geosciences class. You coming down? You can go ahead. No, it's okay, go ahead. Okay, oh, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, it looks like this elevator is broken, unfortunately. Okay. Well, anyways, we're gonna kick around on the freight elevator. The call button's all the way up high. This is the freight elevator here at the Geosciences building. I meant the O and M building. I'm sorry. Look at this one. This is interesting. Look at this. It's got a two-speed door in the back and a big white center opening on the front. Just look at that. And my camera just tends to lose the focus. I don't understand why. All right, it's going to be. And we're going to open up this side as well. this. See this opens and this opens. Watch this close and watch that side close. They both open at the same time but closes different. All right let's go up to 13. Let's lock 12. This one's a lot slower than the passenger elevator. I might take one more ride on the passenger elevator just so I can try to get an uninterrupted ride if possible. Look at this big white center opening door. I'm gonna go back go on the B one more time because I want to open up this door and open up the other door at a different time. But anyways, 
This is just exactly similar to the passenger elevator. These are your Otis Series 2 fixtures in your Otis nameplate. This is definitely a lot slower, mainly because this is a service elevator. We're going to open up this door, and now we'll open up this door. Right now we open up the doors at the same time and the center opening are already closed. These are your fixtures. Otis. And we'll go up and end at one. This is definitely an interesting configuration. Does this open? Oh yes it does. Watch this close. There goes the back side. And there goes the front side. Okay, let's take one last ride on the passenger elevator. Oh, it's going all the way up. Got a great sample of that chime and it lighting up. All right, got it to ourselves. So got your Otis nameplate. Got a good view of that. And let's go to 12. This one's a lot faster than the service elevator. And look at that, there's your original Otis logo up there, right above the newer COP. All right then, we will go down to one and end there. Otis Series 2 fixtures, these definitely used to have lights and fixtures. And we're stopping. Well, I could care less going down, just want to go on up. Going down? Yes, thank you. To one, right? Yes. Trading a compliant phone. I know, right? <laughs> I'm just filming the elevator. Oh. I like elevators. This this used to be an older Otis until it got an upgrade, but oh, yeah. left some of the stuff original. Interesting. I just like the old elevators in the architecture. That's very cool. So with that being said, there it goes, and that's it.